you stop moving around Asphalt milks like butter Bone dry some big brown Bush did have to pick up Duct tape on the dawn Six pack a thousand bucks Guess you get what you pay for Hundred miles from Vegas Thousand miles from Florida. Sweet last night's whiskey I must be a hundred proof Last night shots of bounty Woke up on the floor Heartaches now ahead And you get what you pay for what you pay for me, spill tattoo. You get what you pay for, home and wine. You get what you pay for, books and shower. You get what you pay for. You get what you pay for, cheap motel. You get what you pay for, breakfast. You get what you pay for, bad direction. You get what you pay for. Jacks to my house, broken, broken down. Guess you get what you pay for. Get what you pay for, Mister Cat. You get what you pay for, home and wine. Get what you pay for, drugs and charm. You get what you pay for. Get what you pay for, cheap motel. You get what you pay for, rivers. Get what you pay for, bad direction. You get what you pay for. Everybody, welcome to Miller's Music Mondays. I'm Jason Charles Miller. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, I've got a super awesome special guest tonight that I'm going to be going back and forth with. Uh, he is known as the Ambassador of Soul. His credits include everything from the Tower of Power to being one of the original singing California raisins uh, to singing Demas, singing rooster on uh, chicken run uh, and and so many more i'm i'm discrediting uh, millions of the things that he's done i'm so happy that he's here please welcome mr ellis hall to the show everybody hey y'all yeah <laughs> that's what i'm talking about something like that what a joy to be here brother jason well uh yeah thanks so much uh we uh met a kind of digitally uh through two ways uh i'm good friends with your stepdaughter and also uh the incredible cover that you did of your turn to roll hey yeah. people. come on and that's what we do is celebrate and lift up the music thank you for letting me step in and do what i do whatever the heck i do <laughs> well, whatever the heck it is we all love it so uh you know. hey what well, awesome. Brilliant, brother. Feel yeah. free to, to, to take it away. Sure, I'm on that. Because. So I do a little bit of something. What I'd like to do <clears throat> to start out, um, I have a show. It's a symphony show called um, Ellis Hall present Ray, Motown, and Beyond. 
So we do salutes to Mr. Ray Charles. We do salutes to some other Motown artists and everything else we can fit in. So this tune is one of the tunes. And you'll recognize it. Something like that one more time, got to hear the say. Good God of mine. It's morning. Crazy man, they're loving it. They're loving it. They're loving it. Um, God bless you, brother. Again, I'm loving it. Let me come to celebrate here. Woo! Yeah, well, you know, we were talking a little bit before the show, and yeah. and it's just this online is kind of the only place we can get things out right now. So we got to just do it. It's it's amazing to see this stuff take place. But I tell folks all the time, I say, get through it, walk through it, no fear. Just keep walking, keep doing what you do, and believe in the blessed positive that you have. Not that you're going to get, but that you have. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard to do that in times like this, but I know, music, I think, is what like brings a lot of us through it, you know? 
Yeah, well, you know, somebody asked me when I first started uh, playing keys and guitars and whatever else I play, they said, well, you know, how do you got to learn the different songs? And, you know, I know how to read Braille music, but you can't play and look at the Braille music at the same time. So I said, I better uh, enhance my memory. And so standing before you now is a gentleman who's written over 4,000 500 songs, something like that. I don't know. But I'll tell you this, through all those songs I write and to the other songs, like I just sang that I do my best to, well, some call it rearrange, but I say derange with a loving thought. <laughs> the bottom line is, is keep going with your own positive and folks might join your own party or join your party. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, so my word for the evening, uh, for every time, is a joyous word. It's called chakalaka, with a C-H. All right, I like that. Come on. So you may hear it. And I know uh, uh, Brother Sean, the engineer, may get excited. Say, oh, chakalaka! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean loves it when we include him, too. Sean Becker is, uh, is our producer today, everybody, and has been ever since I started adding guests. So Yeah, Brother Sean. Brother Sean, he's along with, for the ride with us tonight. Um, well, for my next song, I wanted to play one that I haven't played on the show for a while. It's on my last record, but it, the recording features a friend of yours uh, and a friend of mine, uh, yeah. Brenda Lee Yeager. Oh, I love her. She's brilliant. brilliant. Amazing soul singer. And, and um, brilliant right too. And every time I get, I try to throw her on track. You know what I mean? I'm like, can you come over and sing? Uh, just because uh, she has such an amazing spirit and adds a anything to a music track. But um, this one's called Love Ain't Leaving You. There you go. Mm -hmm. There's an old for sale sign just a block away from me. So I'm moving out last week and I don't have to ask why. I'm working on Sundays and no day rest for me. And my girl, I better see she wants to get back to where we used to be. Don't take the lead. Cause I can't hold out that long. She looks to me. To be strong, you're the end of love, like the love we got, and this love ain't leaving you. You're the town of rush, by the death to come, and I know, Lord, yes I know. Talking about working hard to make half of what it used to take, we can just get by. And this little girl's crying, her friends have moved away. They don't know their skills to pay, but I'm trying to pay mine. I'll take the lead, cause I can't hold out that long.
Yeah, man, man, I wish we could play at the same time. It's killing I me. Know, <laughs> man. I, I got your number. <laughs> number seven plus, amen. But we'll, oh, we'll work out some technology uh, soon so we can just jam at the same oh, time right. and broadcast it out. No, no, we'll we'll uh, we'll definitely do that. Nice. Now, you know, I'm surprised actually that uh, Bon Jovi hasn't heard that. You know, because it's still recording. It make you. We already have a lot of money. It'll make you more money. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be good to get that one to him. You're right. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> See, I'm listening. Come on. The um the first one I played, I I do have the dubious distinction that I know that Garth Brooks liked it. Whoa. He didn't love it enough to record it, but he did like it. So I guess I could put that on my headstone. Garth Brooks liked it. Hey, listen, let me tell you, you're some country folk. Woo. <laughs> you know, they be making some some splash. And but we all, and I remember. <clears throat> Ray Charles telling me, boy, there's only two kinds of music, good and bad, and you know which one I want to play. <laughs> yeah, true words have never been spoken, right? Uh, let me tell you, you know, <clears throat> feeling all sorts of colors from country to pop to rock to classical to, you know, it's all soul. It all depends how you vibe it, from R&B to whatever. Uh, and this next scene I'm going to do also with my symphony, um, well, let's just say we have 81 piece orchestras usually, and I got the three backgrounds singing like birds, tweet, the original Twitter. <laughs> having said that, you know, it's that thing of, let me see. Turn the order here. vocals 
That's Miss Leala J. Hall singing with me, holding it down. It sounded great. It sounded great. No, no, she got that thing. So I'm, <laughs> I'm glad she tuned in and with the hand claps and stuff. Make me seem like I, I got a real job over here. <laughs> well, um, so that you do that in your show too, right? Yes, sir. And um, so that's uh, you said with eighty-one pieces sometimes. Yeah, yeah, eighty-one piece orchestras. We've been traveling before the uh, craziness came up. We were traveling all around the world doing uh, symphonies. They're not used to having so brought to the symphonies quite like that. So, and I say, if you sit in your seat. And Hold it down, you're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> right. Because uh, we want you to, you know, get up and, and do what you do and celebrate the music from the RB to, uh, well, once I get to it after your song, there's another tune I, I did that got me signed to Mr. Ray Charles' label, and it's also on hold for the United Nations. It's a tune called Girl, You're Not in Kansas Anymore. And, uh, you know, just, uh, all the proceeds going to the eradication of human trafficking. Well, I think that's something just about everybody can agree upon. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, let's eradicate that for sure. Please. Um, well, I thought I would do another one that I had Brenda sing on just because it's... Oh, good. Me. I know she won't be there. I was going to say, if you sing that high, though, I'm, I'm going to look at you. What? What? The vibe. This, you know, this is... It's, I'm trying to play the 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 songs I have that that Matt that uh, have the, the most soul in them, I guess. <laughs> you know what, brother? Do what you do because it all comes through with soul. I can feel it from your heart. Amen. And we got many things I know we're going to do together. Hey, yeah, definitely. I can't wait till uh, we can be in the same room together and just write a song. Oh, now that's the way to do it. And and, and Sean will point the point the finger if you hey you guys ain't working it right. <laughs> Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, well, this one's off my, my album, In the Wasteland, and it's called uh, Finding My Way in the Dark. Cool. Well, I'm lost in the dark. Things are around me. I won't get very far. Oh, I'm no eyes to see. He said, look for the light. Oh, how can I follow things they just don't seem right? Show on the swallow. I could stand here and wait for things to get better. I'm just searching for the 
I'm trying to understand Why the things that I do Push me back to where I'm yeah. I'm just searching for the truth Now the heartache that I'm through If I know I can say I'm just starting my way I see you love that key of G too. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Uh, I try to write, it's funny, and you probably do the same thing. It's like when I write a song in one key, then the next song I write's got to be in a different key. Just to like, keep my brain moving. It all depends what it feels. And uh, <clears throat> this song I mentioned, Kansas, you know, I had dreamt that song. You know, in a lot of my songs, I end up dreaming. So I thank God for that. Amen. And, you know, we're the vessel, brother, and you know it, too. We're the vessel of these things that come through. So oh, let's go in here and make sure I'm not knocking things around. Hey, I'm in your key. <laughs> let's go to here. Here we go. You get a, a nice signal okay from that, brother Sean? This is a tune um, that got me signed to Mr. Ray Charles label. And as I talked about, it's now being held by the uh, United Nations for the next record. So something like this. Hey, 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 
play music and some people are music and you just are music god bless you my god i appreciate it. as i said i'm honored just like you to be the vessel seriously you know i know i know not i think i know how blessed we are to do this and that the world even either through the good times and the bad times they need us to come and, and spread that extra something, whatever it is, even if it's just something, S-O-M-P-I-N, something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blessings, but uh, yeah, so this guitar, by the way, I call her Lala Bay, named after my beautiful bride, and it's a uh, Yamaha <laughs> guitar trans. It's, 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 well, makes me feel like uh, I'm refreshing. <laughs> Sounds great. So, yeah. And uh, after you do your thing, I'll do another one on the guitar. So, yeah. um, before I do this next song, um, yeah. so you and I are connected in a weird way that I realized um, recently. Oh. And, um, and here's why. Okay. So, um, like I said earlier in the introduction, but we have more people on right now. So, Ellis, at one point, you were one of the, the voices of uh, the California Raisins. Right? <laughs> yes, sir. So, um, the California Raisins, that was the first record that was released by Priority Records. It was, yes. So, fast for, so that was in what, like 86 or something? Uh, no, no, actually, we recorded it in 87. Ross Pinelli was the producer. And I think it came out in 88 and it just jumped off the shelves. Yeah. And it put priority records on the map. You better believe it. Buddy Miles, a dear friend, I miss him so. He was uh, one of the others. It was he and I who were California Raisins. <laughs> <laughs> so check this out. So 13 years later, in the year 2000, mm -hmm. uh, my band, Godhead, uh, was signed to uh, a label that Marilyn Manson started called Post Human wow. Records and the parent label to Post Human Records was Priority Records. Whoa. How crazy. They went to a rap label, you know. Right, I know it turned into a rap label but then they, they wanted to expand because EMI bought them. And so uh, they, they gave Marilyn Manson a label and they gave Ozzy Osbourne a label. Whoa. And, uh, and so it was, it was all rap except for these two smaller labels that were rock. And I was on one of those. So I was signed directly to Priority Records. So technically I can thank you for my career because <laughs> the California Raisins hadn't made Priority so much money, they wouldn't have had the money to give Marilyn Manson a label to sign me. That's, that's really funny. So we share the Raisin in common. Exactly. I know. That's it's just wild. like mind blowing, right? But, so I thought I'd do a Godhead song for you. You know, a lot of our songs were really kind of like a dark and introspective. Uh, we sort of, uh, a, a, lot, a lot of stuff. What I found too is when I was writing it, you know, um, it's not necessarily that I was in a dark place, but I could take myself to a dark place when writing it. Yes. And um, writing about <coughs> dark stuff to me always um, is sort of cathartic and takes me out of it. And I found that, a lot of people uh, wrote me afterwards and said, you know, hey, listen, I listened to this one song of yours. And uh, because you, I realized that I was not alone feeling this way, 
um, it helped me get through it. So, I mean, I, I love when I, when people reach out and I email, it's the same thing. It's like half the time we don't know where the music is coming from. It just flows through us, right? That is true, brother. The vessel is what we have. So this was one, this was one off of our big record on Priority Records, and this was called Sinking. If I had, if I had another, if I had another arm, I would. <laughs> I'd be hit them both at the same time. Uh, yeah, yeah, now, you know what, uh, you know what happened after that? So we had one record on priority uh -huh. and then EMI, the, this is, there's a little insider thing that happened, but you know, you've been, you, you've definitely, uh, I love this. we all have our share of, of, uh, behind the scenes stories, right? Hmm. So, uh, after that one record came out and it did really well for us but what happened was is that emi decided to merge priority records into capital records Whoa. and all capital records cared about was the um was the rap part of the catalog so all of a sudden we found ourselves on capital records but the entire staff that worked our record was gone so I have the dubious distinction of being able to say I've never been signed to Capitol Records, but I've been dropped by Capitol Records. 
Oh, the dropping story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't get me started. Don't do it. Oh, that's a rabbit hole. Anyway, but no, you know what? But the songs live on. You're singing this song to me today. Exactly. Yeah, people can't take that away. They can't. How about that? Mm -hmm. See? They can take the rights away, but they can't take the song itself. <laughs> 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 but, uh, well, this next song got me signed with the Tower of Power. Let me explain a little bit. My manager at the time, way back when in 1975, he and his lady had a serious fuss fight. And he called me up. Don called me up and he said, you know, Terry and I, you know, broke up. And he was really, really, you know, sad. I mean, you know, guys don't cry too much, but he was crying. And what happened is he told me the story and I literally... You know, I said, bro, everything's going to be okay. I hung up the phone, and in 15 minutes, not even that, I came up with this riff. So I, I said, oh, I got to do something with it. And the, the title, Some Days Were Meant for Rain, came to my mind. I put it on cassette way back when. I gave it to him. He cried again. He gave it to her. She cried, and they stayed married 35 years. Oh, that's awesome. Come on now. You saved their marriage. You saved their marriage. Come on now. No, they weren't even married at that time. So oh, like, you, 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 you launched the marriage. Wow. I was the original wedding singer. Before the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the song, and it's on the Tower of Power Power record. And Emilio heard it, Emilio Castillo, the leader of Tower of Power. Heard it in 76, and I had done like five or six, almost seven, no, did seven shows opening up for him. I joined them in 84, and literally one of the first things he asked after I signed the papers, he said, where's that song, Rain? We're making a new record. I said, Rain? Because, of course, I never called it that. And then I said, some days were meant for rain? He said, yes, we're recording that. And literally... Within about two months, we're in the studio making a record and we recorded it. And this is how it sounds. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Signed you. <laughs> well, Amazing. You know. Come Amazing. On. Um, so, hey, so uh, yeah. I wanted to ask you about uh, Chicken Run and oh, how that oh. came about. <laughs> what do you want to know? Oh, how that came about. Like, what, how, oh, what? Let you, me tell you. Yeah. Okay. There's a friend of mine, uh, his name is Danny, Danny Jacob. His lovely bride at the time, Mary Lotta Jacob, she worked at DreamWorks. Okay. And I had done well, a couple of things for them, but she contacted me and said, how would you like to sing this song? They called it not an animation, <clears throat> but a claymation. Right, yeah. So, and, and my late wife, Karen, the one thing she noticed when they showed her the demo, she said, my God, the chickens have tea. <laughs> <laughs> and John Powell, the conductor, he practically fell off his chair because that was so unexpected. But he, he kept saying to me, he says, he says, Eddie's with a stick accent. I want you to sing this song. I don't want you to make it like the original. I want you to do your thing with it. And I said, yes, sir, with that accent, I better do whatever you ask. <laughs> so I said, I don't care if I die. I don't care if I die. Don't ever leave me. Don't ever say goodbye. When I finished the song, because we had a big band come in and do it, and it was killer with all the horns and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. They loved it so much that they put it in the movie, and then they put it at the end of the movie. You know, it was a big Joe Turner hit, so right. we were able to, <laughs> like you're shuffling down the street with roller skates. <laughs> made it a little faster and made it with some angst. And I had three girls coming and sing with me, and uh, the party was on. That's always and good when you know, to you this day in twice. <laughs> say it again. I said that's great that you got it in twice. <laughs> I know. I couldn't believe it. It's like what in the world. And because <clears throat> at that time, it was right after a movie I was in called Big Mama's House. Right. So yeah. we're walking down the street, and in this movie theater. In the same movie house was Big Mama's house and catch uh, not Big Mama's house and uh, 
uh, flip flop and fly chicken run. And I said, oh my God, it's an Ellis Hall movie day. <laughs> That's right. You didn't know which one to go in. <laughs> no. <laughs> or I guess you could do a double feature, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's a, it, was a, it was amazing. But those kind of things, and you know it, I'm sure, you know, when they happen, serendipity is in full effect. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, a lot of people, like when, it's so interesting how so many things kind of, you know, we, we, we work so hard to try to get certain things to happen. Yes. And other, other times, because of the work that we did on one thing, something else will, will, will fall into our lap or, you know, and I think, you know, it's always important to just do the work and then the rest will come, right? You know, as long as we're always uh, working on something that is creative, like the path will find, you, will find you. It really will. Oh, let me tell you too, because I mentioned earlier in Mama's House with Martin Lawrence. Yeah. A very interesting story. I was on the set with him. And we didn't have cell phones or really didn't have any full effect at that time. <clears throat> I got a call to come to Las Vegas and perform with uh, David Pack uh, and perform with Bobby Kimball from Toto and a whole host of others, including Stephen Bishop. And I had to go. They said that. I said, well, I'm going to miss that show. But through God's amazing grace, they ended up postponing the show for a day so I could do my shoot at Big Mama's house. Now, I'll tell you that you just don't know how things like that can happen because at two o'clock in the morning, I'm thinking, well, I'm going to have to just blow off the, uh, the special show. And it was raising money for a special charity in Vegas. And we raised millions of dollars for them. And so I was so honored to be involved, but so honored to finish that movie. And Martin Lawrence apparently didn't know I couldn't see, so he thought I was snubbing him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I was waving at you, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> oh, God. That's awesome. Um, well, I'm gonna do one more. Um, and it uh, so this song is kind of uh, my calling card, I guess. Lately, this is my most popular song. So if you look me up and people don't know who I am, this is the first song that they find. So cool. I'll play that one, too, <coughs> yeah. um, and then uh, mm. you can close us out after that. But uh, and I, I could stay and talk to you. Oh, we'll just talk for <laughs> that. I think everyone's really enjoying our, our talks too. Um, I. Uh, yeah, I, I love serendipity stories like that because I mean, it, when you're a musician, it's like after we've been at it for so long, we all have those stories. You know? Oh, brother, yeah. you did. Well, so, thank you again for inviting me on this amazing quest, I call it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I love to have you back again. You know, this is a newer show that we're building and, and, and having you on is a huge, a huge thing. And I couldn't be more grateful for you to come on today. And we got lots of songs we can trade, my brother. That's right. I can't wait for us to uh, be in the same room and work on something. Me too. Me so, too. All right, well, this one's called 100 Pound Hammer. <laughs> So you walk right in and go in the hole, she was in there holding someone else. And I know we're out sitting right thinking how this won't happen to us. Brother, I've been where you are, believe me when it does. It's gonna hit you like a hundred pound hammer.
choices. You can bust in like a wrecking ball. Or you can just walk out and pretend you didn't just walk in and see what you just saw. The way you wind up tomorrow. This point is all up to you. You can let her be the thing that never was or be the thing that got the better of you. But either way, it's gonna hit you like a hundred pound hammer. tell everybody that's watching um you know we're musicians that should be on the road and aren't and if you guys want to contribute today i've got a i've got a a, a link right there at the bottom you can all of the tips today go, all the tips go to my guests everything goes to the guests so if you guys are so inclined um you know we're uh this is our job this is what we do and we're just trying to do our best while we you know stay safe and, and stay safe for everybody else so it's it so i get to buy three musketeer <laughs> yeah anyway would you mind saying a couple more for us you know i would love to i know it's eight o'clock but i want to go a little longer if we could and i'd love to just hear a few more from you and just let you have oh, it. oh listen i'm honored brother but i'll do this <clears throat> and then if uh god willing you know do whatever you need so this one it was written by a most amazing songwriter singer. One of the few black men to own his publishing, how about that? Well, through that amazing crossroads mission, I got to be the musical director for his guitar player. First of all, I was talking about Sam Cooke, but yeah. Bobby Womack was his, well, his guitar player, 15. And Bobby, uh, excuse me, Sam made sure he went to school and everything. And uh, Sam would, uh, would tell stories. And of course, through that, Bobby Womack became an amazing storyteller. And he told me about hanging with uh, Sam and how he was uh, very, very afraid of this song, meaning Sam, because it was so intense. A change is going to come. And I tell everybody, please, just stay safe, uh, stay at home whenever you can till this lift, this too shall pass. And as the song says, a change is gonna come. Where 
Just like a river I've been running ever since. Just like a river I've been running ever since. It's been a long, long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. It's been too long, baby, but I'm afraid to die. Cause I don't know what's up there on the sky. It's been a long, long, long time coming. But I know trains gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. We take to the bridge. Wait a minute. Here we go. 
show tonight um, we've got your links on the screen uh, everybody please follow Ellis uh, I, I don't even have to ask because I'm sure you are we've got a uh, <laughs> Facebook Instagram Twitter on there and uh, we've got links at the bottom we've got donation links but uh, more importantly man it was such an awesome uh, idea uh, awesome just idea. <laughs> Christina to put us together Christina Ariel thank you so much for uh, for suggesting this and um, 
what what do you got on the horizon? What's you're working on? You're recording some new music, right? Yes, sir. We're working with the Fabulous Gift of Beats and Collins on some things. We just did this thing called One World. I sent the original demo, but now it's out. And I think Judith Hill, is she on? Judith Hill. Uh-huh. There's a whole bunch of people, a plethora of folks uh, that are on this thing, and we're raising money to let folks hire. Uh, there's a movie that's out that everybody can go to. It's called Revival. And how you get there, Eastersunday.org. No, excuse me, Eastersunday2020.org. I misread my cue card. Blues. Sunday 2020. <laughs> so, so Eastersunday2020.org. Go check it out. I appreciate y'all checking out, uh, you know, uh, Instagram and Twitter. And, you know, it's all music, all roads lead to wherever. Um, I pray we get to be in person sooner than later and stomp on our feet and clap on our hands and shout at me. And uh, uh, thank you, Brother Jason, for letting me come on. And Sean, for making me sound so good. Now sound a little bit critical. <laughs> yeah, never mind. No. <laughs> critical. <laughs> well, we got to do this again real soon, for sure. We've got to get you to start your own channel, too. I know a lot of people would watch. Hey, I appreciate that. I, you know, but honored to make a statement first with your fabulous music, Critical Role, and second with this here show. Uh, thank you. Come on. Absolutely. Well, uh, boy, I can't, I can't think of a better way to end it. And uh, thank you everybody for watching. Ellis Hall, thanks for coming on. And uh, I'll see everybody next Monday. And Ellis, I'll be talking to you real soon. You will, my brother. God bless. Some songs soon, for sure.